you charming kids how are you feeling today so welcome to swaflon and welcome to our interesting session mind tricks to learn everything faster and this is your teacher nana and welcome let's learn together so all right so in this session we're going to discuss about what happens in your brain and brain friendly ways to learn better and how homework helps your brain how emotions affects the learning and the memory and the last one but not least the memory techniques so these are the techniques these are the things we're going to discuss by today in this lesson so all right let's have a look so what happens in your brain when you learn something new what do you think do you know the answer it's so interesting so this is your brain right so the brain cells are called neurons the brain cells are called neurons so you are born with at least 100 billion neurons in your brain so the dendrites grow out of the neurons when you listen to or write about or talk about or practice something so when you will do all these things the dendrites grow out of the neurons so you will learn better and you will remember better so over here so here is a wonderful quote by dr sears the more that you read the more things you will know the more you learn the more pleasures you will go it's a realistic quote so it's wonderful over here so what happens the connections form between the neurons when two dendrites grow close together a contact point is formed so that is the first thing a small gap at the contact point is known as the synapse and a special chemical called neurotransmitters carry the electrical signal across the synapse and what happened after that so the messages are sent from the neuron to the other electrical signals travel across the synapse so this is happening when the connections form between the neurons i hope it's clear and so the practice builds stronger connections it's really true you may have experienced this thing in your entire life when it comes to study and when it comes to the learning so when you practice something what will happen so when you practice something it's easier for the signals to across the synapse and that is because the contact area becomes wider and more you neurotransmitters are stored there and when you practice something the dendrites grow thicker with a fatty coating which is known as myelin and the thicker the dendrites the faster signals travel and the learning will be effective and you can learn everything in a short time so practice builds double connections with enough practice dendrites build a double connection so faster stronger double connections last very long time and you remember what you learned well when it comes to the double connections and the thicker dendrites you will tend to remember the informations for a long period of time and you can remember everything so what do you need to do you need to practice short term memory is very short so we have short term memory and the long term memory in short term memory the informations will last very less time so if you learn something and do it only once or twice the dendritic connection is very fragile it's not thick yet so what will happen and the informations will disappear within the hours so just after you study it within 20 minutes you remember only 60 percentage out of 100 percentage okay all right so but when it comes to the 24 hours what will happen you will only remember 30 percentage out of 100 percentage so this is what happening with when it comes to the short term memory but you will practice if you will practice within 24 hours and then practice again later you will remember 80 percentage of information so just try to practice everything after you learned once then you will remember everything and it will help you to learn and trick your brain faster so major points to remember 
you are naturally smart because your brain know how to grow drain rice just like stomach how to to digest so our stomach it's already know how to digest the food right just like it our brain know how to grow drain rice and the next one so when you are a baby you learned your native language somebody trained you or you learned yourself definitely you learned it by yourself which means we are naturally smart we don't need any other classes because we observe and we learn so you must do something active all the time keep your brain active keep your body active and you will tend to remember things more easily and learn things quickly such as explain solve and draw write in order to learn anything so must take with feedback are essential and it's really good because we can improve the negative outcomes and we can do better so emotions affect learning and memory so anxiety flood in your body with adrenaline and it makes it hard for the neurotransmitters to carry the messages across the synapses in your brain that is why you sometimes blank out when it comes to the exams so try to resolve the anxiety and the stress before you just need to do something so endorphins make you feel calm your body produces endorphins while you relax such as exercise laugh or learn new things so what do you want to do you have to produce more endorphins by doing physical exercise and learn new things and practice so these are the rising questions when it comes to the learning i understand what's going in the class but when i get home when i want to do the homework i don't remember anything i'm so low so this is the main question so second one i attend the class and i do all the homework i feel i understood the topic when it comes to the exams i can't remember anything so these are the two main questions will arise in our brain so when it comes to the learning so what we can do for this one it's so the first one start with the math max course the skills build from on course to the next take the rest of your math courses at one time in order so when you will get back home when i do the homework please try to do the max first and you can go to the other subjects so do the some of the homework as soon as possible after the class before you forget so that is a good idea so the next one try practice max every day it will definitely help you to manage anxiety learn simple relaxation techniques such as the breathing and meditation more things you can do what are the more things you can do to learn better so these are the techniques make study cards draw pictures or diagram solve slot of problems and check the answers explain to another student that is a good technique that we have been doing since very long create practice for yourself practice makes everyone perfect so try to practice everything at home and you can do it so these are the memory process so four methods or four steps are involved within the memory process so the first one is intention so do you know what is meant by intention so intention means a desire to learn and remember new things or any data so what is the attention so attention comes right after the intention which means observing information and concentrating on the details so the next one is association which is right after the attention association between at association means organize and associate the data which we learned by the attention and the next one is retention and recall practice and remember teach and share so after acquiring all the data we have to remember and recall the information right so this is a memory process and what are the memory strategies so if you are a visual learner or kinesthetic learner it's good that you write things and learn so write down so that is a good technique and the next one is eliminate distraction so try to avoid all the things which will cause distraction so go from general to specifics so 
try to look at each small details and you can learn better thoroughly and use your senses such as visualize listen and move so try to use all your five senses when it comes to the learning so which will really good for the sensory learning as well and the use the mnemonic devices memory tricks so the first one these are the few mnemonic uh, techniques such as rhymes and rhymes acronyms acrostics association chunking method of place techniques so rhymes and rhymes we can learn something which is rhyming and acronyx first letter of series of words acrostics sentences to help you remember the letters so associations we can associate the words and we can learn the things so chunking like breaking down of all the complex information into the small portions and learn it so visualize object and stack method of place technique such as the mapping and visual imaginary association to aid the memory which is really helpful please try to do all this mnemonic techniques and you can do better so thank you everyone for coming today i hope you enjoyed the session please watch it again and you can try to understand better and try to do all these things when it comes to the learning thank you